humans, it's just Martine, and welcome to the start of the Squash That Series readathon. This is a two week readathon being hosted by my loves, Bailey and Kayla. I'll have their channel information linked down below. Let's get straight into my roles. Roll number one. That's, that's a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Second book in a series. Roll two. So when it lands on a double, you can either do um, both numbers together or one. So one, two, three, four, five would put average above 4.25. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually read a standalone. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> gonna actually read a standalone. Okay. Ugh. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Finish the series in the last book you read. Not sure what that's gonna look like for me, but I'm gonna do that one. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, published in 2021 or 2022. <laughs> and then eight, so I guess that's to finish. So as you saw, I did all my like primary rolls first, the ones needed to get to the finish line. If I finish that and still have time left in the readathon, I'd love to go back a little and do some of the other prompts, but this is my main objective. I know a lot of people are doing it roll as you go. I have to like have things checked out from the library usually, and so I needed to know what was happening, which is good because there was one book I had to put a hold on. I'm still going to read it kind of in order. For my first prompt, it was a second book in a series. So for this, I'm going to be reading Double Blind, which is the second book in the Kate Benedict series. I'm doing this very purposefully so that then finish the series in the last book you read, I'll just finish the Kate Benedict series. I don't know if there are more than the ones I have. I'm just reading the ones I have. I'm not going to track down any others, that will be that. I'm actually 10% of the way into Double Blind already. I started it at the end of February and then put it down again when I was reevaluating my Squash Set series TBR. So I'm at 10%, but it's okay. Nothing much has happened. We're going to get into it today, first day of therapy uh, and lunch. So not right away, but I'm excited to jump into it. It's just past 2 p.m. and I'm officially at the halfway mark of Double Blind. So that's good. It feels slower going than it should be. Like it's not a very long book, but it's taking a while to read, but that's fine. Right now I'm watching reading sprints on Maddie's channel, book browsing blog, and my friends are doing some reading sprints later. So hopefully that will help. I'd really love to finish this book today and jump into my next one. So that's kind of where I'm at slowly but surely. Yes, I'm already in my pajamas and it's before 5 p.m. What do you want from me? Basically, I finished double blind and then I took a shower. So now I'm here because I want to be fully prepared for the sprints that Bailey is planning on doing tonight. So double blind, I gave it three stars. It was fine. I don't really have anything to say about it aside from Healthcare and politics mystery go from there, you know? So the next book actually, the prompt is standalone. And for that, I'll be reading The Age of Light. Pretty sure this is a standalone. I'm treating it as a standalone. I wouldn't pick up a sequel even if it existed. This was previously a book of the month book. I don't have book of the month. I just got this at a free library. Yeah, I'm gonna read this. I know nothing about it, except that I saw book of the month and I wanted it. I'll probably start this in a bit, but I'm going to take a bit of a break from reading so I don't get burnt out and I can enjoy this readathon as much as possible. So I might sing for a bit and then I'll get back to it. What is it saying? I put my book down for this. So I should just wear that to work every day now. Happy Tuesday afternoon. I've been too busy reading to talk to you. I have like a huge knot in my neck, which does not feel good. So last night during reading sprints, I started reading the Age of Light. And I continued reading that this morning and into this afternoon and I just finished it and I'm giving it four stars. I enjoyed it very much. It's a debut novel, which is cool because the writing is so pretty. Like she's gotten awards in literature for her short fiction, but 
it was just consistently pretty throughout the whole book and one of those that I had to go in and realize okay this is going to be a bit of a slower read because I'm really going to take in this prose because it contributed to the atmosphere so much. This book is primarily set in Paris in the 1920s. It's a historical fiction but it follows people that were real uh, but it's a fictionalized version of events so it's about this woman named Lee Miller and her romance with Man Ray and all the things that that entails when it comes to the art that they made together or separately and the lives that they had together or separately. It was very intriguing. I'm not sure it'd be everybody's cup of tea but I really enjoyed it because you really got to know the characters and they were complex and there were lots of discussions about art and it was great looking at the scene of Paris in the 1920s. It was very vivid. I loved being inside an artist's mind. Just fascinating characters all around. Lee with like her history in modeling and this is what really got me. So the tagline at the beginning is she went to Paris to start over to make art instead of being made into it because she starts out as a model but now she wants to make her own art and then when it comes to Man Ray, him as an artist and him as like a possessive partner and like his possessiveness in general. There were so many points in this book where I was so mad. All characters made mistakes. All characters did bad things. I liked that there wasn't one bad or good character. This didn't try to like villainize any particular one of the historical figures. They all did some terrible things. I just had a good time reading this. So if you really love books with like beautiful writing, this one has it. This does have some moments that's set during World War II because Lee Miller goes on in the 40s to be a war correspondent for Vogue magazine. So it has snippets of her during the war taking photos. I'm not sure that added anything to the book. It didn't take anything away, I don't think, but I don't think it really added. And the ending was beautiful. Next, I'll be working through the three Kate Benedict books I have left for the prompt. Finish the series on the last book you read. So the last series book that I read was the Kate Benedict one, so I'll read the three more of those, which is going to take significantly longer than one day <laughs> to fulfill. But for right now, I'm going to go on a walk with my sister. It's just past seven. This afternoon, I took some time reading books not for Squash Note series. I took some time to relax, went on a walk with my sister, like I told you. Then, right before I went to dinner, my blood sugar plummeted. So, I panicked, stuffed my face with food. That's, by the way, not the right answer if you get low blood sugar, but it feels like dying. So, that's what I did. And then I went to the dining hall. My sister is feeling a bit better, but I was like, I cannot eat anything else or this is not going to end well for me. So I went and then on the walk back, I started feeling weird. <laughs> so my sister had to walk me up to my room because I was like, I want to shut my eyes so badly right now. And she's like, you can't, you're walking. And I was like, but, but what if I did? And then I laid on my bed for a long time watching like a Netflix special. And now it's just past seven, like I said, and I think what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, my neck is also killing me. There's like something wrong with my neck. I think I slept on it wrong or something, but it's been hurting all afternoon. And just watching YouTube or Netflix is not doing enough to like take my mind off of it. Like I can pay attention to that and the pain at the same time. Probably back to reading is the answer. But anyway, I'm feeling crazy. And since I feel unwell, what I think I'm going to do is get into my pajamas and read in the dark. Like I normally don't do until I'm almost ready to go to bed. Just for however long I can stay awake. And that's gonna be my day. Good morning, it's the 11th. And for the past few days, although I've been reading, I haven't been reading for this. Oh, there's a cat that wants my attention. But today I'm going to hopefully make some more progress on the Florentine Cypher. Currently I'm at like 36% and uh, it's more slow going than you would think. Like it's action packed, but it's also slow. I'm making progress on this prompt. I finished the Florentine Florentine cipher several days ago and it was okay. I gave it three stars, which means it's better than some of the mysteries I've been recently, which I've been giving a lot of 2.5s, but it also was just like, meh. I like the cryptography element of it. 
I felt like the pacing was weird. Like it was fast paced, but then I'd be like, I've only read five pages. What? So it just took a while to get through and I'm worried about the last two books in the series dragging as well since I have to finish those and then my last prompt. But it's Sunday today, so I'll be finishing those two books as well as my last prompt in the next vlog. So if you wanna see what I'm gonna read for my last prompt, you've gotta stick around. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what series is at the top of your priority list right now and subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye.